Hi, in this series we're using, um, we're developing a Hello World application and we're going to, the, the language here is Pascal. Uh, it started out as a, a, a teaching language and uh, I'm using Rad Studio in here and they, they call this environment Delphi or Delphi, depends on how you pronounce it. Um, and there's an open source version of this uh, as well. It's slightly different, um, but it's cross-platform development, meaning Mac, you know, Linux and Windows. Um, this particular one is uh, Mac, Windows, 32-bit, 64-bit, and you can develop for the iPhone. So slightly different, but the language is very, very similar, and uh, most of the commands are similar as well. So what we're going to do is go File, New, and FireMonkey. And FireMonkey is the cross-platform uh, GUI so that uh, we can build these windows on, on multiple different platforms. VCL is Windows only. Um, so we're going to select FireMonkey. And we're building out an application in multiple different languages, um, C++, uh, uh, Delphi with Pascal, PHP. We're developing the same program on all these different platforms so that you can learn the different languages. You can see the nuances. You can see run speed, development time, and everything else. Um, so if you're trying to pick a language, hopefully this will help you out. So this is our main form. This is going to be the window that we see. And what we want to do is, is uh, allow somebody to enter some text, press a button, and have that text show up. So when we go down to these components, and there are tons of these uh, components in there, we want to grab a label. This is going to be used to display our text. Um, we want a button, and I can never find these because there are so many of them. So let's type edit, and here's our edit field. So let's lay this out. We'll put the edit box up here. And this is what is great about a GUI development environment is we can see what it's going to look like as we're designing it. So we'll put our, uh, our button over here. And um, now what will happen is uh, in the background, as I put these components onto this form, their rapid application, which is rad, rapid application environment, is actually building code or writing code for us. So if I go to the code view, Again, we have an edit field one, um, which is the first edit field, our label and our button. So we go to the code view, you're going to see it's already written this code for us. When we go back to the design view, and these the, the code gets pretty big over time. So what's pretty handy is that I can double click on this button and we're telling the system to take me to the line of code that controls this button. So let's double click it. And here we go. Um, it's created a procedure. We're going to go. We're going to cover procedures and and functions and classes and everything else in another environment. Right now, we're kind of just skipping through this to see how we how we design this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start writing some code. So I'll tab it here so we can see our indentation. And uh, what we're going to do again is take the text from the edit field, put it in the label field. And so we're assigning the text from the edit field to the label field. So we're going to start with the label field. So I'll type label, if I can spell it, one uh, dot. And when I click on this, all of our properties and elements for this come up. So we know it's the text field. So I could either scroll down until I see text here and then double click on it. And equals, and since this is Pascal, this is an assignment operator. It's a colon and an equal. And it's saying take the information on the right hand side of this assignment operator here and assign it to the left hand side. So we're taking it from the edit box. Edit one dot uh, text. Okay. And then we need to add, add a semicolon. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's save it to the desktop. And um, we'll, I have another one here in a different language, but we'll name this hello underscore world. Uh, we'll leave this as unit one, and we're going to name the project. Okay, so we save this. It compiles it since this is a compiled language. Uh, we'll show you what that means in a minute. And we have our form. This is our first window. We have the edit field, the label, and the button. So when I type in hello world, click on the button, 
It takes the text and assigns it here, just like we wanted it to do. Now let's go back to the, the design view. Button one is not, it doesn't tell anybody what it is. So we could make this some descriptive text. I'm just gonna type in hello world. Our label field, it's a little bit distracting. So we're just gonna take that text out, delete it. And it looks like it goes away, but it's still here. We can still, still see our object. So we'll run it again, see the new program. And it's this iterative approach that uh, makes this pretty straightforward once we learn the, the language. And we're gonna do that as we go along. So here's a new application. So again, since this is a compiled version, what that means is uh, the, the um, environment takes our code and writes it into machine language that your computer or your operating system understands. Um, this was our underscore one. So when I double click on this, we can see we have our the unit that we saved. This is where our code was. We have the project. So in the GUI environments, the system is writing code for us and it keeps all that code that it writes for us uh, in this project, in these, these different files and, and incorporates them into the project. So we're on Windows 32 now. Again, we could make this available for Mac or an iPhone or something like that. But when we double click on this, um, we're in debug mode right now, uh, meaning it's not production, it's not something we're gonna sell or give away yet, but we see our application. So I can actually take this and it can run without the environment. That's the, the key here to compiled languages. If you're used to PHP or a Python, you know, they're all great, but they don't run standalone. You have to install that environment to get them to run. And that's one of the key differences here. Pros and cons to any language you're working with. So we'll type in hello world. This one is running from our desktop and here we go. So again, we're building out the same language in multiple, we're building out the same program in multiple languages. If you're interested in that, or want to see nuances of different languages or just want to learn a language, this is a great way to do it. And at the end of it, you have an application. So we'll see you in the next video.